Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen, regardless of what you are doing. But at this moment, I would like to ask you to make a small pause and just take a look at this Philips Momentum 55 inches up to 144 hertz. And yes, there are a few Philips Momentum generations. This is the last one, which will go up to 4K 144 hertz. And I will leave a link down below for the exact model. And we are back. Let me start by saying that if I could shorten this video in a few seconds, I would say that the most favorite things for me in this display, first of all, the size, 55 inches on a gaming display is just awesome. Initially, I thought that 55 inches will be too big and I don't think so anymore. Actually, I'm really curious to, when I wrap up all the tests that I have to do here, to take this display to my main desk and I want to edit this video right over there so that's one of the questions another thing that i really enjoy is the image quality and resolution of the display which is just awesome it has a integrated sound bar with a great sound actually it is the best integrated sound on a tv or display that i've heard so far and it has something that i really enjoy and some of you also do which is the LEDs that you are seeing right over here are integrated on the display. It's called Ambiglow and we will talk a little bit more about that. So these are my favorite things, but there are a lot more that I want to share with you. Now let's start with some characteristics. This display right over here, it's a VA display. It's a virtual alignment display here on my channel and also for my kind of work I use IPS displays, in-plane switch displays, which means that they have a better view angle and most of the time better color reproduction but let me say two things first of all the color reproduction is just awesome right over there i really don't see difference between an ips and a va at this moment so i'm convinced right over there the only thing that i would say that it's probably a downside is that if you put this on a really large living room or area and if you sit people too far away then probably the viewing angles extreme viewing angles you will be affected for example right over here and sorry about the sounds i'm able to see the color reproduction without any changes but if i move right over here then i will start to see some color shift the only downside that i do find on any va panel if you are not going to use the display on extreme angles then you will be totally fine it also has hdr 10 it has a resolution of 4k up to 144 hertz that we will see in just a few moments it has picture in picture mode or multi-view display which means that we can use two devices simultaneously for example i can be watching tv while someone else is playing a game or vice versa it has an integrated sound bar from bowers and wilkins dts 2.1 which to me sounds really nice it has two tweeters two speakers of 10 watts and then one subwoofer of 20 watts. Honestly, when I put my device and video shield, for example, which is one of the devices that I tested, also my PC right over here and also Xbox S. By the way, we have done a few tests with the Xbox S. I will leave some links right over here in the YouTube card so that you can check that out with xCloud Gaming on this display and also to rearrange a few apps on the Nvidia Shield TV, which I did use this display now it has a built-in stand which can be removed if we want it has inclination that we can adjust and if we want we can put it on a wall which is not a bad option at all but have in mind that the weight is 30 kilograms so it's not that easy to carry around just have that in mind when choosing your visa map. now the menu of the display is really complete so i really believe that it's worthwhile to spend a couple of minutes talking about it when we press any of the buttons 
either on the back of the display or on the included remote control we will have a lot of options right over there starting with the ambiglow which basically is the leds on the back of a display now there are 12 options of colors or presets or themes as you want to call it and then we also have our own customizations we can choose colors any color that it's available i'm not really sure how many i didn't count but probably 20 different colors plus 12 different presets so you can see that we have a lot of things that we can choose different animations different colors and so on and so forth so really great and of course if you don't like the light by any reason there's also the option to press off then we will find gaming options like adaptive sync low input lag and crosshair it uses the low blue mode technology which will help to reduce the uh, ocular fatigue it will not hurt our eyes as much as any other display which doesn't have this technology it also has four or five different levels so we can choose from the one that is more comfortable to our eyes it has the input choice which is something basic and we will talk a little bit more about that we also can select on the menu between 120 or 144 hertz and of course it's compatible with any device that only gives 30 or 60 Heard. so have that in mind you can use any older device connected to this we also have some image definitions like brightness contrast sharpness gamma and so on we have the picture in picture option or multi view as i said we can connect two devices nvidia shield and watch a tv and on the other hand your kid or someone else is playing a game and you both are enjoying on the same space on the same screen with enough space for everyone now i didn't uh, take a look at the specs but it seems that it will reduce to 21080 displays which is more than enough for our needs and then we also find some audio options uh, menu options uh, like languages and so on and also a setup option now in terms of connectivity it has a lot and some things very useful first of all it has three hdmi 2.0 which will go up to 4k at 120 hertz one display port 1.4 which will give us 144 hertz at 4k one usb type c 4k at 120 hertz with charging so it will charge up to 65 watts on a laptop or any other device that we use i did test with my mac pro and worked great both the resolution image quality and also the charging and then in terms of connectivity we will also find one usb type b upstream four usb type a 3.2 downstream and this just basically means that i can connect for example my nvidia shield tv via usb to the display and then anything that i connect to that four available usb connections will connect to my nvidia shield this is very useful if you have a setup box with only one usb uh, input then you can connect usb 8 to usb b and then you can connect remotes keyboards and whatever you want to connect at the back and it will just go to the box which is great like now let's talk a little bit about the experience that i had testing out the computer nvidia shield and the xbox s and as you can imagine with the energy that i'm passing to that side then i'm really excited and i'm still am because i want to test a little bit more a few things but the experience is just awesome first of all i did connect the xbox s as i did mention i already recorded a few videos i did a few tests playing games some of them alone some of them with my kid having a lot of fun and the first thing that uh, came to me was the image which is a lot sharper and if we compare to a normal tv which is usual where the xbox is connected we see a huge difference especially on the blur motion blur that we see on a tv here the image is a lot sharper a lot crispier and the colors of course are really really rich so that's my input in terms of gaming on the xbox s really nice experience and totally totally worth it and of course not only for gaming but the object the main objective of the xbox s is gaming so my feedback is totally positive now i also as i mentioned connect my nvidia shields and the target of that device is both watching movies series and so on and so forth and also some gaming especially cloud gaming via xbox cloud game streaming or any other technology like geforce now and so on and so forth now the experience is awesome as well there is one thing that i didn't mention almost forgot we have different image presets so we can choose between the xbox there's one that calls xbox it even changes the led light to uh, green and but that's not the most important the most important is that we have a lot of presets so if we are watching a movie or if we are playing games or things like that we can change 
through those kind of presets and that's just an awesome experience and of course the nvidia shield outputting 4k at 60 hertz the display will go to the 60 hertz without any issues i also brought this computer that over here this is one of my setups the one that i change parts constantly it has a 37 tti at this moment from kfa i will try to leave a link right over here as well and i did connect it via display port 1.4 and the experience is as well awesome i did 144 hertz and i did play a few games right over there especially the first person shooting kind of game is just awesome now i'm a player of this kind of game but in pc i'm not very used to use the gamepad on the xbox or any other console but on the computer i really enjoy to play this game and right over here once again the 144 hertz just gave us a great great experience so guys basically this is it if you are on the fence like me a little bit about ips or va at this moment i'm totally convinced that the last time that i did test a va panel is has nothing to do with the VA panels that we have today and this one being one of the greatest that I believe that exists on the market. That being said, hope that the video was helpful in some way and if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really, really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.